What's up everyone, this is Phone Coverage, and today we have a super exciting unboxing of the very hyped iPhone 8. We're going to take a look when you get inside the box and take a look at the unit and the iPhone 8 itself. Now before I get started with this unboxing, this is a prototype clone that I bought from China. But it does look really legit, you can tell on the side, as iPhone 8 has all the warranty information on the back of it. And at first glance you wouldn't be able to even tell while looking in the box that this is a prototype or a dummy unit. Now it does turn on. We have a little uh, manuals right here, but you only get one thing inside of it and you don't even get your s Apple stickers. So it's just it's supposed to be a, just a quick start guide, but nothing too exciting right there. Just toss that off to the side. We have the phone itself right here and I went for the silver, but we're going to take a look at that in a little bit. So now you have all the accessories that you usually get with the iPhones in previous generations. You have the uh, wall outlet. You also have the Apple ear pods right here and you can tell they look a little off white like I said before this is a clone model so you know these earbuds are not legit but it's still nice that they include it and then also at the bottom the very last thing in the box is gonna be a USB cable alright now we're just gonna to toss all of this to the side and take a look at the phone itself so my first impressions of the phone it does seem pretty lightweight now this isn't the same materials that Apple is going to use I figure Apple will use a lot more premium materials therefore it's gonna weigh a little bit more this dummy unit kind of feels like it's like a cheap, uh, almost filled with more plastic than usual compared to the iPhone 7 and 6 models. It does turn on and work like I mentioned before, but you can notice right away it has these black bars on the screen. It has the old screen in the last generation, but the new generation iPhone 8 is supposed to have a bigger screen. On the back it has this mirror-like finish, and I really hope Apple doesn't go with this because it's going to be an absolute nightmare and fingerprint magnet. And trying to keep this clean it's going to be a full-time job. So I really hope they go with the same kind of finish as they have on the iPhones right now. You have all the same buttons as you normally would on the iPhone 7. They did not bring back the 3.5mm head jack. So now it is a little bit different getting used to not having a home button, but I actually like it because you have a lot more real estate on your phone and your phone's not growing so you don't have even bigger bulge in your pocket now, it's the same size. Now even though this is a dummy unit, you do have all the same apps that you normally would find on the iPhone. So you have your camera and all that, everything works. If you guys are also interested, I could do a full review on this dummy unit. Just leave a comment down below. So I'm super excited for Apple to release the iPhone 8. Stay tuned to the channel because I'm going to have full coverage on that. But we'll see if all the rumors come true with the bigger screen and the camera on back. And also the home button missing. Make sure to subscribe because I will be having the giveaway of the iPhone 8 once it's a release and announced by Apple. If you guys did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. And this is Phone Coverage signing off. Peace.